Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. So, today we are doing or we are talking about the most surprising books that I have read this month. No, this is late last year, 2020. Why, why do I always... It, it's uh, just confusing. So, I have five surprising books to talk about. So, let's talk about them. Uh, basically, surprising means... It doesn't mean that it was a really, really good book. The thing with surprising is that the rating was higher than I maybe anticipated when I started the book. So the first one, this one I read like really early on in the month, and that is The Romanov Sisters. So this is a book basically about the Romanov sisters that lived in Russia years ago, I don't remember when. Basically it's a, not like, it's more like non-fiction. And I usually don't like non-fiction, but this one was actually not bad. I found myself really intrigued. And at this time, I I was driving like 20 minutes, four, 30 minutes maybe. And I usually, when I drive, I like um, listening to music, but I found myself actually wanting to listen to this audiobook and when I was like there I could listen to music but I listened to this on audiobook which I really enjoyed so it was really a surprise that I liked it as much as I did I don't think I gave it any I don't think I gave it a rating because it's non-fiction and about someone's life and I don't like reading people's lives so but I really actually enjoyed it. So then we have Everless. I didn't think I was going to like this book, but I did. I I gave it like I think I actually gave it five stars, at least a four. But I I didn't think I was going to like this. I uh, obviously liked it better than I anticipated. Uh, basically, I just felt like this book. When I read what it was about, I just th thought that it was like, like any other YA. And I just felt like it wasn't. It was something that I at least haven't read much of before. And that is one thing that really drags the book up with... Yeah, it was something that I haven't read at least. The next is Twilight. And before you say anything, I give it three stars, which is like a low three stars. I thought I was going to like hate, hate this book. And I actually didn't. Um, I mean, Bella is insufferable and I don't like Edward. And I don't like Jacob either, but uh, you will actually see that in uh, later later down the line of my wrap-up but yeah it wasn't insufferable this first book i feel like it's so uh, so far as i have read them this is the best book i have read of that series it wasn't good it wasn't great but it was like a meh it was let's call it decent i I mean, it wasn't like, wow, this is the best series I have ever read, because it wasn't. But I thought I was going to hate it, and I didn't. But it's not like I am thinking I'm going to like reread this a thousand times. I don't think I will ever, ever reread these books. I just want to know what they are about. I know what they are about because I obviously have seen the movies and um, yeah I am basically 
right now I'm reading them just so I can, you know, read the last one, the Midnight Sun, just because I want to, <laughs> I want to know what happened uh, with the rest of the Collins. Like, I don't care much about Edward, but I, I like the other ones. So, but yeah, Twilight, it was a surprise that I actually like this, so. And then we have The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo. So, basically, I didn't know where to kind of put this, but I felt like if I was supposed to put it in, like, my favorite of the other genre, it wouldn't have been on that, like, list if I'm only doing ten. Because I gave this five stars, but it wouldn't, it, it wasn't like uh, the highest five stars because I, on my best list, they are like the, on the top. So this one is a little longer that, down the list, but I really liked it. But I didn't think I would, but I actually did. I just felt like this wasn't going to be for me. But I kept an open mind and went into it and actually ended up really enjoying it. Which was really, it was a surprise that I actually liked this. And uh, yeah, I thought I was going to give this maybe like three, two, three stars. Even though it is one of Taylor Jenkins Reid's most liked books, I just felt like this might not be for me. Because I haven't read a lot of books where the main character is famous and the, here she is and um, yeah, I actually like this book. The last book I am going to talk about is The Sweetest Kind of Poison. This is a poetry book and uh, the reason this is not the most surprising, I didn't think I was going to like this because I have never read poetry before this. and. Uh, so far, I think I have read like two or three poetry books and um, maybe two. I have read like two or three poetry books and this is the only one that made it to a list. So, yeah. I thought I was going to hate this, basically. I... I don't know. I It's just that... Reading poetry has never been like something that I fully wanted to do before I actually read this book and thought that it's not that bad. So now one of my kind of let's call it goal this ma this year is to actually read poetry books. And um, I think that I might do rather read poetry books for a whole week or read poetry books for a whole day. I don't know yet. Maybe like be a whole day. But then I am afraid that I won't like I will be tired at the end. But we will see if I'm doing a week or a day of reading poetry books and see how I like them. But I won't buy poetry books until I know that I like them. I did this with this one but I will not do that again, just in case I don't like the book, because it's expensive. But yeah, that was the most surprising books. So... Stay tuned for Saturday for my worst books, and then next week for my best romance books and best books in other genres. So, I hope you liked this and I hope you will continue watching my worst and best books and uh, me wrapping up 2020. And I hope I will see you next time for my next video. Bye!